Hey guys, it's Michael and welcome back to my YouTube channel and Coaching Cues, episode number three. In this episode, we are back to the floor and we will take a closer look to a problem that I notice with a lot of the online coaching clients that I work with and a lot of them when they come into my coaching have a, an understanding problem with the positive part of the movement of a pike push-up and how that problem looks like and how you can easily fix it I will show you in this coaching cues episode what is the actual problem um, surprisingly often all coaching clients have no problem with the negative of the pike push-up so we're starting in the pike push-up position we're getting overhead arms are extended we are trying to really open up our shoulders so getting maximum shoulder flexion and getting into um, yeah, the, the most pike angle that we can um, depending on your hamstring flexibility that is more or less and then we start with elevated shoulders we are going down around about one upper arm length and we end up in this position in the bottom position our shoulder blades are depressed not elevated anymore and slightly protracted so we have a stable position so far so good but what is the problem now with the upward movement so the positive part of the movement and if we take a look on why we are using the pipe push-up um, we are using it to work on our overhead strength to build our upper chest, shoulders and traps and to do that and to use it as a regression for handstand push-ups we need to work overhead and not in a horizontal position and here comes the problem mostly all athletes I see performing pike push-ups are going down correctly but then pushing up like this they are just simply not performing the shoulder flexion they need to do to really work overhead so how to fix that is easily and simple really just push up the same way you go down so if you're going down like this then also push up like this and now you're working overhead If you're coming up like this, you're doing a strange variation of the push-up and you are just missing the shoulder flexion and this exercise won't translate as good as correct pipe push-ups to handstand push-ups and we don't want that so make sure you are doing your pipe push-ups right guys and if you know that details matter and you finally want to work together with a coach that knows how you need to execute exercises that knows the details and knows how to program your training to finally get you the skill results and the weighted results that you always wanted to have then visit calisthenicsthecoach.com and just schedule your free consulting call just choose your date and then we will talk about how we can achieve your goals together so, see you in the next video.